Hi, my name is Vanessa van Dijk and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can use a cleansing milk. Now before I'm going to get started with the demonstration, I do want to emphasize a little explanation to this as well because there are two ways on how you can use it. First of all, the cleansing milk is a gentle cleanser that can be used with or without water. Now it is suitable for all skin types. However, if you say, well, I want to use it completely without water, then you're going to apply it to dry skin, massage it over your face and neck, and then you're going to take it off with cotton pads so that you do not use any water at all. This way, it is a bit more suitable if you have a drier skin type and even sensitive skin. Now when removing it to completely dry away and you're using cotton pads to take it off, it's going to leave a light residue afterwards, which is very hydrating and moisturizing on the skin. Now this can work extremely well if you do not really follow a specific step-by-step -step skincare routine, but you want to keep it mainly simple, then go ahead and do so. However, you may come across issues when layering zeoms, toners, etc. afterwards because of the residue. And therefore you can use it with water as well but still then you're going to apply to dry skin massage it all over and then just use a damp cloth to gently remove the residue from the skin surface and then continue with your usual skincare routine so there are two ways on how you can work with it depending on what you prefer and if you follow a routine or not so I'm going to show you both methods like kind of half and half so that you can see the demonstration Usually cleansing makes are able to properly remove any excess oil, dirt and sweat from the skin and even light makeup and sunscreen. If it is too stubborn, water resistant, waterproof or maybe a physical sunscreen, this may be not the best cleansing method. But for light makeup, as I'm currently wearing right here, it is able to take it off. And so first of all, go ahead, take your favorite cleansing milk. I have one example right here. If you have a different one, just replace it. Then use about one to two pumps, more or less about a coin size amount on the palm of your hand and then gently massage it over your face and neck on top of dry skin. And then go ahead and take your time to gently massage it all over. If you're just trying to remove any excess oil, dirt and sweat from the skin, this can be for about 30 seconds to a minute, more or less. If you're trying to remove light sunscreen and makeup, you can extend this maybe up to two minutes if you should feel the need so that you have enough time to reach every corner to properly take it off. So once you have gently massaged it all over, now it's a time where you can decide how you want to remove it. So I have a few cotton pads right here to show you how you can do this if you want to go with a completely dry way. So take a cotton pad and gently swipe it across your face, including around your eyes as well as your mouth if you should have worn uh, sunscreen and or makeup on those parts so that you can gently take it off the skin. So as you can see, it is able to take it properly off and go ahead and use kind of like as many cotton pads as you feel the need to make sure, especially if you're trying to remove your sunscreen and makeup with it, that there's no residue of it still on the skin. So this would be now one method on how you can do this. The other method that I recommend doing so that you still are not being too harsh on the skin with using too much water would be using a soft and fresh washcloth in between, like a clean one. Those can be those makeup cloths or microfiber cloths that are extremely gentle on the skin and when wetting them and then squeezing most of the water out, they're kind of damp and then you gently can swipe it across your face, even around your eyes or on top of your lips. And that's kind of like the method that I prefer if you're trying to remove makeup and sunscreen to make sure that you have a bit more help to it to be yet gentle but effectively in removing it from the skin. So when wetting it, use lukewarm water to warm water and then squeeze it out. 
so that you have a damp cloth and then gently use it over your face and neck. So, and once you're done with properly removing it from the skin, there you have it. So you can remove it a dry way if you like to, or just with a damp cloth. Either way is fine to do, just see which one works the best for you and what feels the most comfortable on the skin later on. Now again, I do want to remind you that if you have a specific skincare routine that you follow, you may find it a bit more helpful to use a damp cloth to properly remove it from the skin, otherwise you may have issues when layering those products. However, if you have a very simple straightforward skincare routine or none at all then it's completely fine to just do it the dry way so that you have the light layer all over now this is what i wanted to share with you on how you can use your cleansing milk i do hope that you enjoyed this video that you find it helpful and if you now want to learn more about skincare in general i'm going to leave some of the videos at the end of this video but you will find more of them on my youtube channel if you enjoyed it please don't forget to give it a thumbs up as well as share it and i will see you soon in the next one. Happy skin caring. Bye!